Hello everybody and welcome back to some Expand the Gungeon Hard Mode. We are back once again and we are on the new upload schedule, or at least we should be by now. I'm going to play as, um, I'm going to play as Lamy again. I enjoyed the last time I played as Lamy and I think for next episode or one after, I'm going to make sure to get the Wanderers set up and try play as them little dudes for a little bit. Uh, but yes, we are back in my hard mode. Let's toggle it on. I did disable it to do some modding testing. No rainbow run, go away. Radical, bro. Let's go. Okay, we're good. We're ready. Let's jump back in. Try out a bit of Lamy. See how it goes. But yes, we should be on the new upload schedule this week. Uh, I put out a, a video, sort of an announcement video for this change um, on Friday. Uh, so this will be coming out. I don't know when this will be coming out. Um, I'm not 100% sure. We, we'll, we're either on the new upload schedule or just just before the new upload schedule. I'm not 100% sure what we're on yet. I'm going to be starting it on Monday, so maybe maybe we're just before. The, this should be coming out on Monday, though, so I think we're on it. I think. Uh, we got hit there, unfortunately. But yeah, um, big changes. Just sort of a, a rehash of how I do my uploads. I think it should help with the channel a lot. It's sort of something that's been suggested by a few different people and I think it should it should bring some new life into the channel and sort of it changes up a few things and I've sort of been debating I still haven't decided exactly yet what game we're gonna play that's non roguelike for the Wednesday videos but I think the game that I'm kind of most leaning to right now is Hyper Light Drifter um I think I think that one sounds pretty cool uh I think it's Hyperlight Drifter is the one I'm thinking of. I, can't, I actually can't remember. And there's a uh, Katana Zero as well, which also sounds really cool. They're kind of like some main contenders at the minute. Uh, so I've been kind of looking into those. Um, Celeste is another one that I kind of been looking into as well. I've got I've got a few different ones sort of on the brain, sort of locked and loaded, ready to go. So I need to kind of do a bit of testing, play around with them, and, and see. Um, See which one of those is going to be... Oh, damn. She did not mean to get hit there. Uh, it's going to be the one that, that pushes through for us. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm going to annotate some serious damage here. Yup. This room might actually be my demise. No, it won't. We've got through the hardest part. We're good. We are golden. Nice. Didn't even get any casings from those big boys. That's just rude. At least lay me is doing just fine with her pistol. I really like Lamy and her hip holster synergy. Also, the bloody eye really helps as well. Slower enemy bullets is very, very convenient on hard mode. Uh, so that's another big, big help in her starting kit that normally doesn't really impact me that much. If anything, it's a bit more of a detrimental thing, but I think now it's it's a lot better. Um, and yeah, I've been, been enjoying it a lot. And I've, I've also, uh, I think I've mentioned this in the previous episode most likely, but I've been absolutely loving Nuclear Throne recently. Nuclear Throne was always kind of one of those... Oh damn, you are, you are a fast boy. It's always been one of those games that I kind of never really took a proper interest in. I always saw it around the roguelike sphere while I was playing The Binding of Isaac and sort of started to get into Enter the Gungeon. It was always a game that I heard of or was people mentioned to me, things like that. And I, I just, I never really saw it to be um some d interesting stuff here and um, never really saw it to be my sort of game i always thought it was a little bit simplistic for me but i don't know after after playing it more i've been loving it more and more and then now that i've got into the modding scene i mean you guys know how i like my mods and um, i think all of my uh, roguelike series pretty much prove that i'm using mods on almost all of them uh but yes yeah, so uh I kind of got into the modding scene and been using sort of the big Expand the Gungeon style mod there called Territorial Expansion, which just got a pretty big update. And it's, I don't know, it's just been, it's been really fun. We've been streaming it a lot over on Twitch as well. So if people want to see that, uh, make sure to go and check, check out my Twitch um, and follow over there. Uh, it should be, there should be a link to that in the description of this video. There is pretty much all my videos, I think. Uh, but yeah, and I don't stream all too often, but when I do, I've been streaming a lot of Nuclear Throne. Uh, it's usually room creation on Nuclear Throne these days. Uh, but yes, it's been, it's been really fun. Uh, it's just been kind of cool to get, to get to know another modding community. I mean, I'm pretty sort of close with most of the modding communities that I'm a part of. Um, or at least I'm involved in, I'm really a part of them, so to say. But the ones that I'm involved in, um... And so I've been getting to know some of the developers that have been joining the streams. The Rad Gun is nutty here. Very, very nice indeed. Very happy with the Rad Gun here. Also, the fact that our 
um, brown chest as an item makes me definitely want to buy it. Because it could be Potion of Lead Skin. So I will go for it. Hey, we got the quest log. I'll take the quest log. Uh, what's our quest? What do we have to do? Clear four rooms. Easy. Easy peasy. Damn, them bullets are definitely slowed. Holy hell. I'm just trying to get as many streaks going as I can while I've got the gun out. Nice! Okay, that worked out fine. That worked out just fine. And we got a gold casing there as well. Um, Demon Head's fine. Uh, I don't think there's anything here we could afford, is there? Uh, it would be really lovely if there was, but... Yeah, 72. Yeah. Sadly, those things are a little too pricey for me. A little too pricey. But, nice amount of money here. Um, we'll get the... We'll get the good old rad gun going again when we get down to the next floor. This thing has been sort of a titan of the hard mode series a few times now. The potential to one-shot kill things is just too good to to miss out on. Damn it. One, two, three. Oh, damn it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six is optimal for me. It's like, it can one-shot most things, if not everything, uh, and I can usually fairly consistently get it. Let's keep going. Got Keek in there. Wait, what? Excuse me. <laughs> I did hit you there. Don't lie to me, game. Okay. Let's just use the demon head here. In fact, let's just finish off this room with the demon head. Stay away from me, grenade boy. Ah, you fucker. For some reason, I wasn't expecting him to fire there, and he did. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Cool, red, nice. Cool, red, nice. It actually kind of distracts me a little bit. Um, ammo, nice. It kind of distracts me a little bit with um, the... Uh, <laughs> the noise that it makes when you get uh, when you get the reloads correct when you uh, you do a successful reload because I've used the noises from this gun as my subscriber sounds and stuff on Twitch so like I'm always looking over towards my recording software like wait a minute like wait a second what's going on here have I got a subscriber it's like oh no I just reloaded the gun correctly that spider just got absolutely demolished by accident I apologize, poor spitter. Okay, a few chests about, that's nice. I am so upset that I just missed then. Oh my god. Damn. One, two. I'm just gonna use this to kill this guy now. Oh my god. Wasn't expecting you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're over this way. The sharks. Into the shark tank, we go. Okay, easy enough. And then we got this again, easy enough. Oh, the cubes. We are, we are. And we got a quest log again, kill nine enemies. Okie dokie. Rad gun refilled. I guess we just double buy keys here and open up all the chests. We got Macho Brace, which really isn't that good. In fact, it's abhorrently horrible. That's very good. I like that gun a lot. Very good backup weapon. And let's see what our last chest ends up giving us. Don't think you can hit me, fools. Really? Two didn't- three didn't do that? Are you kidding? I really thought three hits would in insta kill this guy. I thought two would kill you. Hey, another key. Lovely. Okay, that's really good. Basically, that's uh, flight and more. Okay. No secret room there. We'll check over here as well. Why not? 
Still no secret room there either. Okay, this should be the boss room here. Damn it. Let's prep the gun. One, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like I said, six normally does us just fine. Let's give this a go. Then we have the uh, the crystal gun as a secondary. We want to fire relatively slow here. Use other guns to take out the missiles and the fodder. Just, can you stop? Damn it. I got hit there. That's okay. Getting hit against this guy is kind of a given. He's firing shotguns at me and Yari launcher shots. Okay, stop missiles. And he always fires two babies at once. No two babies for you. You think you're big, you think you're tough, but you will never kill me. I'm getting decently good at dodging this guy. It's only his laser attack that's really difficult. Do you know what? Elder Blank's pretty good, and we've got a synergy with this gun. Uh, bullet kill him. I think, I think whenever we use it, we get a glass one stone. Something like that. I can't remember exactly. Either way, this is good. And we have two active slots as well. Quest log apparently gives you an extra active slot. Okay, this is this is working out pretty tickety boo. Pretty tasty, I would say. I would have to say that the level of spice at which we have here is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm liking this run. Okay. Not a good enemy to be using our very powerful shots against. Nice. A little bit of difficulty there, but we got through it. Remember, Elder Blank doesn't just have to be used on bosses. It can be used wherever we want. This should one-shot the Spider-Boy whenever he decides to show his face. It didn't. All right, then. Okay. Just be careful. All we got to do is be cautious. Make sure to refill Radgun whenever we get the chance, because... Why wouldn't we? Please let me shoot these guys before they start spinning. God damn, those guys are scary. <laughs> damn it. Okay, thank God neither of those managed to do their splitting up attack, because it's really difficult on them now in hard mode. Really difficult. Where is it? Good, good. I found it. Okay. This is, this is a good run. This is a very good run. Elder Blank. Also, we should be able to charge our uh, um, Elder Blank relatively quickly with the amount of damage we're putting out here. Nice, got another successful one in a row there. Actually, I'm going to go do the boss now while I have the fully charged gun. Damn it. Okay, use normal blanks here. You save all the blank when we need it. In fact, the normal blanks are probably the secondary thing, actually. You should use elder blank first. Like now. How has this not killed him yet? There you go. Okay, this is a pretty difficult, pretty difficult boss. It really depends on what attacks he decides to do and where he's located when he does them. That can affect this fight a lot. It also depends on how close he manages to get to us. But we did it. Another flawless. Okay, this is a very, very good run. This might be the first time we've ever had two flawlesses. And we got the Rattler as well, which is another very, very good weapon just to have as an offhand. I am very happy with this so far. Cool, cool, nice, red, cool, nice, red, cool, nice, red, cool. 
Giving us casings, that's nice. Oh no, it gave us junk. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Nice. Really don't want to be missing shots with this thing. The ammo is too valuable. Damn it. Want to be using it whenever we can, though. Getting it... Getting it all cool, ratted up. Makes for kind of shitty commentary, because it's just me going, Nice, red. Cool, nice, red. Okay, Glaive's also decent. Not great, but decent. I'm, I'm relatively happy with it. We haven't been to our shop yet either, have we? Hmm. Oh, we got rat boots. Haha. <laughs> Easy room. Don't know why that didn't insta-kill that guy then. It should have done. Seems to be when you swap the weapon, it lowers a rank. It's weird. Okay, nice. That was lucky. Get it going again. Damn it. I'm so bad at keeping this going. There you go. That'll do. You just want to be able to kill most basic enemies in one hit. The bigger enemies is fine on two. Most of the basic ones need to go down in one. I need ammo for this bad boy as well. Ah, oh, for God's sake. That was bad. I don't know how you managed to fall in there, dude. What the hell? I hit another one of them. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, is that a little too late? The star pew. Holy hell. I'd kind of love to buy the star pew right now. Um, is there any way we can manage to afford that? But it's, it's, it's within the realms of possibility. Cool. Let's just use the rattler here. Okay. Made some mistakes here, definitely. I really wanted that turkey. And so I, I ran for him. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Take out you pretty easily. Nice. Okay. Open that up. Rolling eye! Actually, not too bad on hard mode because there's just so much going on. Okay, I did that a little wrong there. Okay, this is a little bit of a difficult room as well. Luckily, those things are relatively weak in terms of HP. There you go. Right. Can we afford the star pew? We can. It does mean we'll have no keys for the next floor, though. I think we stay away from it, even though it's a really, really good weapon. I suppose... Wait a minute. How much health do we have? How much is that? I think we do this, and I think we actually, surprisingly, use the vampire lady. Like, we have to use it twice. I think it's worth it. Stap you's incredibly good. <laughs> Stap you is incredibly good. Right, let's go. This run has some legs. This run has some actual legs, people. We got flawlesses. We got health. We got guns. We got elder blank. It's all coming together. Right, so I think we still use this to start. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, I should have just done five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just stick with five. Five is enough for most basic enemies. Okay. Where are you? I was going to say, I can hear you. I know I just shouldn't really use the ammo on these guys, but I will. There you go. We're already, we're already starting to get health back. One, two, three... Four, five. Good, good. Make sure to use Elder Blank when we can. Well, I say when we can, when we need to. There's going to be plenty of rooms where we don't need it. Or plenty of times where we don't need it, should I say. Okay, we'll just use a regular gun now. Oh, stop you. 
You beautiful bastard. Okay, we can go up to this guy now. Where the fuck is the summoner? Ow. This enemy is difficult. We got him there. Oh, we found a secret room there as well. Nice. Okay. Pretty happy with that. One, two, three, four, five. I realize this has been a very Gungeon comment commentary heavy run, but still would very much like to have gold amulet here. Kind of wish I'd have saved my money now. Oh, we can sell some stuff though. Um, yeah, let's let's sell all of our junk. Sell Macho Brace. How much we got? 63. Do we sell rolling? Uh, actually, we can sell some guns here. Uh, well, it's gone now. <laughs> Didn't mean to drop it, but it's gone now. Um, yeah. Cool. Nice. That's very, very good for us. Damn it, didn't realize that was already charged up. One, two, three, four, five. See, that's that's pretty important for us right there. That right there is pretty important for us. One, two, three, four, five. We can walk into a room with Elder Blank and just use it to wipe most of the room. All just also just means one extra blank per floor, which is real good too. <gasps> black chest. Why am I the way I am? Why am I the way I am? We just got blank bullets. Oh my god, I just realized something. We've got gold blank blank bullets. Oh my good golly gosh, this is insane. What a run. <laughs> this is this is a little nutty. It's a bit nutty. It's a bit nutty, is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot how broken this combo is. It's really good with shotguns as well, because we fire off a lot of blank bullets. Yeah, this is going to be kind of busted. <laughs> this is going to be kind of busted. More keys, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we just walk into a room and we just have to fight. Oh, really? You just summoned a bulletkin and threw it at me? Is that is that allowed? That was a bit mean. That was a bit mean. It just summoned a bullock and was like, Pajah! We literally just walk into a room and fire anywhere. Could you go away spinning triangles of death? I would like to walk through this door. This is so dumb. I love it. I can't believe this is a combo that exists unmodded. It also stuns things too. It's just, this is bonkers. And I love it. <laughs> oh my god. 45 for a full heart. That's a little that's a little steep for us right now, isn't it? In fact, I think What can we get away with selling that we're not gonna use? We're not gonna use Crow's Glaive, like at all. So let's go and sell Crow's Glaive. Wrong room. Almost walked into that pit. Okay, cool. All I wanted was enough to buy a heart. I think it's well worth trying to preserve this run as long as it'll possibly go. I actually think we use the Rattler here um, with the insane potential for blank bullets. Damn. 
Damn it. Lost my flawless. That's okay, though. I wasn't really expecting to get one on a boss like this. Okay, blanking reflects all the bullets, which is pretty awesome. I don't know, even know where he is, just... Yep. Destroyed. Absolutely demolished. What the hell's this? No thank you. Magic missile. I can get rid of it for quest log. Kinda cool, I guess. <laughs> right. Let's keep her going. This run is so busted. <laughs> this run is so busted. Oh my god. Look at how busted this run is. Cool. Okay, this room, this room doesn't even have enemies in it. What am I doing? This is crazy. I'm pretty sure with this synergy we have as well, all blanked bullets are reflected. Yeah, all blank bullets are reflected, which is just crazy. Yeah, blanked bullets being reflected is so crazy on hard mode. This is, <laughs> this is kind of retarded how OP this is. Oh, hello. I I can't. I can't take it. It's... Wait a minute. Let me go... Let me go and see how dumb this thing still is. Because I know that it's pretty dumb. I need to go and check how dumb it is. Um, Once more into the breach. I'm already on its page. Good, good. Uh, Let's go for the items... A link of all the items. I can't, is this one just called number one? I think it's... Oh, it's called... Is it called one shot? Yeah, one shot. Increases nearly every stat by exactly one. Enemy bullet speed and global uh, shot prices are increased by in instead by 0 0.1. I mean, I can always drop it. Let's try it out. Just don't dodge roll, really. Okay, reload times in, are in, kind of insane, though. That's that's one problem I'm noticing already. But the magazine size is pretty dope. Makes up for it. Making up for it in re uh, magazine size. I actually don't think there's any point in us going through all of these rooms. Um, I don't know what, what weapon's best. Probably this and this, right? Oh my god. Okay, this has kind of broken the fight. Yeah, blanking that seems to completely break things. Yeah, don't don't blank that. It it breaks things pretty badly. I might die here because of this. I 
I might. No, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die because this blanking thing. I'm dead. I can't believe I just died on that. Fucking stupid number one bullets. Why'd I take them? They're dumb. Fuck that stupid S tier piece of shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But still, that was kind of annoying. Uh, I'm gonna class that as a win. Like, because we definitely should have won, but unfortunately the dragon fight is a bit glitched. If you blank the bullets behind you, they still hit you. And I don't know about that. That seems a bit stupid to me. Because I blanked them. They shouldn't still hit me if I blank them. It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, so, that's that's a win. That's a win. We just won. And that was, like, the easiest win of all time. Don't mind the, don't mind the death there. That doesn't count. We definitely just won. Um, like, there is, yeah, that is a, sp a spiritual win, 100%. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What a crazy episode. Very, very nutty. And I will see you guys in the next one.